This is Ralph and I'll be demonstrating how I do an ideal class 1 prep for an amalgam filling. One of the first things you'll notice is that I never use a slow speed and I'll explain as I go why I do that. Here I've made my holes at the groove pits and as you notice this is the only place in the entire video where I'll be going full speed on the high speed and uh, I'll explain that here in a sec. So here I've got the basic outline of the central groove line um, you want to make. And then you can hear me slow down on the pedal. I want to slow down to about a third of the speed on the high speed. As I go back and forth and keep the same hand movement, keeping the same straight line across. And all I'm doing is going deep on the central groove to get that one and a half millimeter minimum with the burr. And I'm looking at the depth of the burr, which is exactly one and a half millimeters. So I mentioned the reason to use the high speed for everything is because the high speed has well, high speed but low torque. So if I slow down on the pedal, if I hit a wall with the high speed, it'll actually stop completely. You can hear that happen here a couple times. You can hear the, the speed of the burr uh, change. So what I recommend is once you get that central groove shape, go ahead and slow down on your pedal and start shaping the rest of the tooth. Get the horns, the facial horns, right at the pit. Um, but slow down on your pedal. That way it's a lot more difficult to mess up. You can hear me actually hit the wall a couple times here and the headpiece will actually slow. And all I'm doing here is I'm tracing back and forth, slowing down with a high speed headpiece and I'm just taking out any chunks that might be sticking out, making that floor nice and smooth and keeping it um, parallel with the tooth so that I get that converging wall, the 6 to 10 degrees that you're supposed to get. And here in a sec, you'll see me switch to the distal and the mesial walls and kind of angle the burr a little bit so I can get the diverging walls. You can hear the burr slow down here as I'm touching the walls, but since I'm going so slow on the pedal, it doesn't take out a chunk, it just stops. Once again here I am making the diverging walls, changing the angle of the burr slightly. Just remember that the mesial and the distal walls have to diverge and every other wall will converge. You can hear me here testing the speed of the handpiece, trying to get it to slow down even more. Now I'm just finishing up all the walls, make, making sure everything is smooth and making sure that it's even. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that it helps you in your class 1 preps.